I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. Lots of paint. We got a majority of it off, but that's more of a refinishing process. It needs to be sanded. Obviously, it needs to be resanded. But customers looking just for a, uh, a good clean and a, um, and a uh, a finish put on it. You know, to protect the hardwood floor. We're using SPP pads. These are an alternative to screens and doesn't make a bunch of dust, especially when you're using the neutral or water. Well, you need a neutral or water to, to, to use these pads. So we're gonna get, we already did a nice sweep and uh, vacuum all the edges, got all the debris, knocked them up around the edges throughout the house. And what happened here is the previous owners did hire some guys to do sandy and he sanded it down with the, the floor so uneven that they they didn't do a well job. There's unsanded parts throughout here. Um, so yeah, the floor needs a, a full resand, um, restore job done on it. But hey, I think we can get this thing looking a lot better. As you can tell, they didn't get in here with the sander. They just kind of got right here, and you can tell where they didn't sand. So this SPP pad preps it for the refinisher that we're going to be putting down. Does a real good clean. SPP pads can also be used dry, but preferably with a square scrubber or something or a guard. That way the dust doesn't get all over. This is more of a dustless process here. For applying, we finished. So cleans it, so. Brenda's following me with the floor machine here. It's an auto scrubber. This is particularly the, the particular model is Napco 5000. So we got a neutral base cleaner in there and she's following me up and, and rinsing her anything that this may have picked up. So it's a good thing to do if you got two people speeds up the process twice a time, uh, just like carpet cleaning. So as we were going through and uh, doing our second clean, as far as getting all the debris up, mop, getting, making sure everything's off the floor, I was going across the floorboard and I started getting urine smell. So the previous owner did have dogs. The customer didn't know it. She actually 
when she did the walkthrough, she thought she smelled something, but um, she kind of thought maybe it's just to smell the house. I don't know. <laughs> but the uh, the forest along this wall here is my yarn. So what I did was a I did a deodorization right now. I went along the wall with theodorizer. I do deodorizing product. I'll let neck and twelve. I'll let that dry before we uh, do any finished stuff. So it's kind of like better than nothing, right? The floor, if they have lots of urine in it, you know, I mean, it's deep into the wood. Uh, wood's really porous, so all that wood needs to be replaced. But for now, this is what we can do. All right, so we're uh, just going up, prepping everything, making sure we got everything off the floor. And I'm gonna go ahead and coat this, put the finish on it. What I'm using is basic coating. I would for a finisher. You lay it down, you get a flat mop, you spread it out, work your way out of the house. Been here for about two hours and 15 minutes, I think. We got probably another 45 minutes here. But man, the floors look amazing compared to what they used to look like. Amazing. on there so it doesn't get left behind on the floor. Let see that would have been left on the floor. So it's still wet, it's not gonna be as bright when it glossy when it dries, but we're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna put another coat on it. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright <laughs> Alright, so what we're doing right now is we're waiting uh, about a half hour till the first coat dries and then we're going to do another coat on this Uh, yeah Actually, turn out, keeping, keeping turn out better than I thought it was going to come out. All right, customers were super happy. If they're happy, I'm happy. And uh, remember, those SPP pads. If you're just starting out in the car with floor cleaning, and, you, you know, you're really nervous about everything, be nervous because there's a lot of ways you can mess up in hardwood floor cleaning. Educate yourself. Very important. I be fine. I strive just to say I'm alright. And for the first time in a long time, I'm alright.